English over here. <laughs> so, uh, burgers from Burger King in Belgium have bacon in the buns. Don't believe everything you hear on YouTube. <laughs> Good Belgian cuisine. Hello, toy fans. Welcome to another toy hunting video from Empire Toys 1138. On this series of videos, we're going to hop across the channel and go meet up with Ez Retro Geek Out, Matthias and Renzo for an awesome toy hunting experience in Belgium. First stop was Brussels as that's where the Eurostar gets into. So a couple of cheeky drinks on the train on the way up got us right in the mood to go hunting in some toys. So the first place Ed and Matthias took her to was Pele Meli. Now these Pele Meli shops are kind of charity kind of thrifty shops that are spread out around Brussels and they are awesome. All full of books, toys, games, everything. Even picked up an awesome bag with my purchase from there. So when I go toy hunting here, everyone knows I've been to Pele Millie. There's some mad little thrifty shop over here in Brussels. Some nice bits in the cabinet. Trying to work out what these are called. These little things. I picked a few of them up at the car boot sale, but I can't remember quite what they're called. Nice some GI Joe stuff at the back. Pretty cool. There's Star Wars down there. Marvelly bits. Nice figures at the back there. Look at the Batman there. Some cool Batman stuff. All those accessories are pretty decent. 8 euros and 10 euros. Hmm. Not there. Now something that caught my eye when we were there was two Demolition Man figures. Now I did not expect to find Demolition Man figures and I couldn't think of what I already had in my collection but I knew I didn't have one of them. I picked up Battle Barton Spartan. Battle Batten Spartan. Battle Batten Spartan. Battle Bashing Action. So I picked this one up uh, from Pele Milli. It was 20 euros, which was like, mm, is that a good deal or not? Worked out to be about 17 pounds. Uh, so we left it on the first day, but when me and Andy went back on our last day while we were waiting for our train, I had a change of heart and decided to pick it up because I thought, do you know what? It is open. He has been sliced, but I'm not going to find a complete John Spartan figure with all the accessories for anything. If I, if I find one on the cheap, it's just going to be John Spartan on his own. So I thought, you know what? We're on our way out. We spent all our holiday money, so we had a little bit left over. So I thought, you know what? I'll pick it up as one little last purchase. One thing Ed and Matthias did do is take us around Belgium and see some wicked sights. A little bit of a sightseeing tour. We got to see some old buildings, some cool stuff, some crazy courtyard uh, and more importantly the little guy that pees so uh, ed where have you taken us to this is why people come to belgium to see the little guy pee to see a little guy pee look at it look at it's crazy look at all these people here just all here to take videos and pictures of the little guy peeing culture now when ed told us about the little guy that pees me and Andy did not believe him but there he is and he's everything he says he is. He's a little dude that's peeing. Andy, Andy, look at the crane. <laughs> look at the cranes for the week. Next up, Ed and Matthias took us to Utopia, which is a vintage retro toy shop in Brussels, not too far away from the little guy that pees. When we got in there, it was loaded with awesome retro toys. I couldn't believe how much was in there. Some amazing bits i can't believe how much gi joe stuff is in belgium it was crazy so we were looking around we saw the classics the turtles star wars stuff like that they even had some dune figures in there there was even a sandworm sitting on the side loads of power rangers loads of megazords and everything it was really really fun they even had an awesome batman kind of batman display which almost made you want to buy some figures up and actually start your own but i can't go down another rabbit hole so we're here in brussels and I finally met Obama Tears. <laughs> How you doing, bro? 
pretty good. Finally got to meet you. Yeah, yeah, well yeah, yeah. It's been a yeah, yeah. long time, so. It's been a long time. Yeah. Bit communication online, and finally meeting you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And we're in this shop. Yeah, it's crazy, pretty, yeah, pretty crazy cool, uh, shop. Pretty cool shop, yeah. Like, uh, We've been here before, but it's the first time they are stacked this uh, this big. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's, uh, it's hot in there. Yeah. I'm sweating my balls off. <laughs> Same. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Okay. Beep. Yeah. Well, we had some beeps to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm really looking forward to uh, going around. Is there anything interesting here, or just yeah, I'm just window shopping. Yeah, looking around. I'm saving my money for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Same. Like Same. tomorrow is the big, uh, the big. Uh, Car boot sale, so big car boot for yeah, 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 yeah. There's still some really cool stuff in there. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's go find some bits. Yeah, man. Got a uh, crazy little find down here. Let's move Mr. Steels out of the way. We've been looking around the shop all the time, and every time we look somewhere, we see something completely different. We've got the Wild West derailleur tank with Dr. Loveless figure. Is that not, you're not thinking about grabbing that, Andy? Sorry? Not thinking of grabbing that? No, I mean, it's, it's cool, but it's too big. A new, a new collection to start? No, no, I'm good. I don't think I've ever actually seen the film. You've never seen the film? I don't think so. Some might say you're doing yourself a favour. People like me saying, go watch it. It's quality. Like, well, you know I love a crap film. Um, yeah, I've never seen it. So there's some good, cool boxed figures here. Yes. Transformers, yeah. Battle of the Spark, yeah. Beast Machines. <laughs> wooden Transformers yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> some cool Tom Jerry yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Even some Robocop stuff here. It's pretty cool. Got a cheeky uh, Lara Croft bad guy sitting back here. There's some cool stuff. A bit lost in space. Treasure Planet stuff there, don't see that too often. Some more lost in space there. But yeah, it's cool. Oh, hello. Hello. The Mummy Returns. Rick O'Connell, bit of Brendan Fraser there. Jack Specific, I've never seen my returns figures like this before. I did pick up one thing and it was a little present from Vic. Say thank you for letting me off the leash and go Belgium to not only toy hunt but enjoy some of the local beers and food. I picked her up this, Rick O'Connell from The Mummy Returns. Now I did not know they made these figures. Absolutely had no idea. So. As soon as I found one, as soon as I found it on the store, I was like, I have to get it. I have to rip it off the peg and bring it back for Vic, because Vic's going to absolutely love that. And let alone knowing that they do figures for it, they actually do a whole toy line. So here you've got Scorpion King, you've got Imhotep, and, uh, the Rick O'Connor that I've got, the awesome Anubis Warrior. Now that is cool, I do like that figure, and also this Rick O'Connor that comes with the Pygmy Mummy, now that would have been a, probably a better one to get than this one, but I knew Vic was going to love it, she absolutely loves the Mummy Returns, she absolutely loves Brendan Fraser, so really happy to find that to go into her collection. What a way to start off the toy hunting experience, we got to check out Brussels, I've never been before, so it was nice to walk around and see some stuff, but now we've got to go off and head over to a toy collector who's opening up his collection for us to buy. So there's no more time for sightseeing. Check out the rest of the videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to Ed Retro Geek Out. I'm sure you already are. But if you're not, well worth it. He'll also be doing a mini series from this awesome YouTube toy hunting team up. Guys, take it easy. And I'll see you very soon for the next video. Peace.